Hello, welcome students. Let us continue with our subject that is mathematics. And today we will be doing the last part of this chapter that is chapter 4 fractions addition and subtraction part 11. Okay. Now students, before we start with the word problems, let us first understand what is a fraction and what all we have. Just we'll just take a recap of what all we have learned. Okay. Now what is a fraction? That is when an object is divided into a number of equal parts. Then each part is called as a fraction. Correct. Now in this chapter we have already learned how to take the LCM of two numbers that is the denominators and make it into like fractions and then compare the like and unlike fractions and also we have learned how to arrange the fractions in ascending and descending order okay and also in the last class we have studied how to simplify two or more fractions together so today let us start with the last part that is word problems of this chapter let us start with an example Yes. Yes. Anshu ate one third of a cake while her brother ate two fifth of the cake. How much cake did they eat together and how much cake is still left? Now here there are two questions. The first thing is you have to find out how much cake is eaten by Anshu all together and in the end how much cake is left with. Okay, so the first thing here is to find out how much cake is eaten all together. What we will do is we will add one third plus two fifth of the cake. Okay, so one third plus two fifth of the cake. Now the first thing we have already learned is to add any two unlike fractions. First we have to make the fractions to like fractions. So here what we will be doing is we will be taking the LCM of 3 and 5. Now 3 and 5 is a prime number. So you can directly write the LCM of 3 and 5 as the product of two numbers. So 3 5 is 15. So the LCM of 3 and 5 is 15. Okay. So the second step is we'll convert this 1 upon 3 that is into like fractions is equal to 15. Now 3 multiplied by 5 will give you 15. Same way you will multiply this also by 5. So your fraction becomes 1 upon 3 is equal to 5 upon 15. Now the second thing is we will take the second fraction 2 upon 5. We will convert this into like fraction. 15. 5 3 is 15. So you will also multiply the numerator by 3. So 2 upon 5 is equal to 6 upon 15. Now both the denominators are same here. 15. Yes, now third step is we will add the fractions that is 5 plus 6 upon 15. So 5 plus 6 will give you 11 upon 15. Now what is this 11 upon 15? 11 upon 15 is the total part of the cake which is eaten by Anchu all together. Okay. Now, what is the second part of the question? Your second part of the question tells us that how much cake is still left? Now, with what we will subtract, always remember that in fractions, the whole quantity is considered as 1. So, from 1, you will subtract the fraction that is 11 upon 15. Okay. So, what we will do is total cake eaten was 11 upon 15. So, from 1, from the whole 1 cake, that is 11 upon 15th part was eaten. This you will consider as upon 1 you can take. Now again take the LCM. 1 multiplied by 15 will be 15. So 1 into 15 is 15. Now this is already 15. So minus 11. So 15 minus 11 will give you 4 upon 15. So how much part of the cake is left? 4 15th part of the cake is left. Okay, now let us see the solution to this sum in the next slide. Okay, now here the solution is given. Anshu's share of cake was one third part. 
her brother ate two fifth part of the cake. Now, when we added by taking the LCM, we got the total part eaten was eleven fifteen part of the cake. Now, how much cake was left? Was the second question to find that we subtracted one minus eleven fifteenth part. Now, when we subtracted fifteen minus eleven, that is, we got the four upon fifteenth part of the cake was left. Okay. Now, always remember in fractions the whole quantity that is is always considered as one. Okay. Now, let us solve some exercise sums. Exercise four point six. Okay, which you have to do it in your notebook. Now, from exercise four point six, let us take the second sum first. Here, Honey baked a cake. She used four whole five upon eight cups of flour and three whole one upon eight cups of sugar. How much more flour than sugar did Honey use? Now, here we have to find how much flour flour more was used than sugar. So we have to subtract it. Now to subtract it, here both the fractions are in mixed number. So to subtract first, what we will do is we will change it into improper fraction. So let us take the first mixed fraction, four whole five upon eight. When we convert it, four eights are is thirty two. Now thirty two plus five is thirty seven upon eight. Let us take the both the fractions together. Okay, the first fraction four upon eight, four into eight plus five, that is thirty seven upon eight. Okay. Now the second fraction is three eights are twenty four plus one, that is twenty five upon eight. Now both the denominators are same eight. Okay. Now what you can easily subtract it. So to find out how much flour was used more than sugar, we will. Subtracted. That is thirty-seven upon eight minus twenty-five upon eight. Now thirty-seven minus twenty-five is twelve upon eight, which is an improper fraction. Now to divide it and convert it into mixed number, we can just divide it. So you will get it as eight. One's are eight. Four upon eight. Again, this can be reduced to its lowest term. So this will be one. Four ones are is four. Okay, four twos are is eight. So your final answer that is how much more flour was used. That is one whole one upon two parts of flour was used more than sugar. Or you can directly take the prime factors of twelve and eight. That way also you can do it, and then write it in a mixed. Fraction, okay. So factors of twelve is two into two into three, and factor of eight is two into two into two. Cancel the common factors two and two, so that will be three upon two. Now, when you divide this three upon two, you will get the answer as one whole one upon. So both are correct. Both the ways it is correct. Either take the prime factors and then write the answer in mixed number, or you can just divide it and reduce to its lowest term. Okay. Yes. Now you can copy down the sum from this slide. Solution is given here. Cups of flour used was four five upon eight, which when we converted it into improper fraction, we got it as thirty seven upon eight. Then cups of sugar used was three whole one upon eight, which when converted in it into improper fraction was twenty five upon eight. Now thirty seven minus twenty five upon eight will give you twelve upon eight. Then the factors of twelve is taken, prime factors and prime factors of eight is taken, where the common factors are cancelled. That will give you to three upon two. Now three upon two is an improper fraction, so convert it eight into Mixed fraction, you will get the answer as one whole one upon two. Okay, coming to the next sum. Yes, fourth sum of exercise four point six. Bunty walked 
one whole five upon eight kilometers. Then he took a bus and traveled three whole one upon six kilometer. After that, he took a taxi and traveled eleven upon four kilometer. That is eleven upon four kilometer. How much distance did he travel in all? Now here you have to add all the fractions. There are three fractions out of which two are mixed fractions, and one is an improper fraction. So first, what we will do is we will convert this mixed fraction into improper fraction. Okay. So let us take each fraction one by one. Okay. Now the first one is how much kilometer did he walk? He walked for one whole five upon eight. Kilometer. So when you convert this into improper fraction, that will be eight ones are eight plus five. That is thirteen upon eight. Okay. Now here three six are eighteen plus one. That is nineteen upon six. And here it is already an improper fraction. So eleven upon four. Now what is your second step? Your second step is to take the LCM of eight. Six and four. Okay, when you take the LCM of eight, six, and four to make all the fractions to like fractions, so that we can add it together. So it is divisible by two. Two fours are eight. Two threes are six. Two twos are four. Again, two. Two twos are four. Three will remain as it is. Two ones are two. Again, two. Two ones are two, three will remain as it is, one, and then three. Yes. Now what you'll do is to take the LCM, multiply all the prime factors. Two twos are four, four twos are eight, eight threes are twenty-four. So the LCM of eight, six, and four is twenty-four. Okay. Now what is your third step? Your third step is to make all the fractions to like. Fractions. So let us take the first fraction. Thirteen upon eight is equal to something upon twenty-four. Yes. Now eight threes are is twenty-four. Now numerator also you will multiply it by three, so that will become thirty-nine upon twenty-four. Now your second fraction when you changed it, it was nineteen upon Six. Yes. So six fours are is twenty four. Same way. Nineteen also you'll multiply it by four. Now nineteen fours are is seventy six. Now already eleven upon four is has it is. Eleven upon four is an improper fraction. So four into six is twenty four. Same way multiply this eleven by six. So that will give you sixty six upon twenty four. Now you all the denominators are same twenty four. Now you can add it. So what you'll do is thirty nine plus seventy six. Yes, thirty nine upon twenty four plus seventy six upon twenty four. And the last fraction was plus sixty six upon twenty four. So put all the numerators together. Thirty nine plus seventy six plus sixty six upon twenty four. That will give you when you add the, all the numerators together, it will be one hundred and eighty one upon twenty four. Now one hundred and eighty one upon twenty four is an improper fraction. So divide it. When you divide it and write it as mixed fraction, you'll get the answer has seven whole thirteen upon twenty four. Yeah. Okay. Let us see the solution to this sum. Now copy down this sum along with the statements, children. Now distance he walked was one. Whole five upon eight kilometer distance traveled by bus was three whole one upon six kilometer. That is when we converted it into improper. We got it as nineteen upon six kilometer. 
and distance traveled by a taxi was 11 upon 4 kilometers then after we take the LCM that is of 8 6 and 4 we got the LCM has 24 we changed all the fractions to like fractions so 13 upon 8 is equal to 39 upon 24 19 upon 6 is equal to 76 upon 24 and 11 upon 4 is equal to 66 upon 24 now when added it together we got the answer has 181 upon 24 now 181 upon 24 is an improper fraction so when we divide it we get the answer as 7 whole 13 upon 24 kilometer okay so now based on this some home assignment for you yes one sum i have given you as an home assignment that is ramesh ordered 11 whole 11 upon 12 kg of wood and used 8 whole 1 5 upon 12 kg for making a piece of furniture how much wood is ramesh left with so first convert it in it into improper fraction and then subtract it so this sum you have to do it in your homework book okay so that's all for today children practice all the sums so meet you after diwali till then wishing you all a very happy diwali enjoy your holidays bye bye